Today's sponsors are Angelo's Interiors, specialising in kitchens, bedrooms and bathrooms. Go and visit their showroom today in Gillingham. Their web address is angelosinteriors.com and Dimidici Associates, Chartered Structural and Civil Engineers. Based in the UK with a worldwide reach. Visit their website on dimidiciassociates.com. Welcome to the Cheryl Podcast with me, Simon Burridge. And me, Rachel Burridge. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> whoop diddly. Welcome to the Cheryl Podcast. Go then. Welcome to the Cheryl Podcast. <laughs> what you say? Hey, hey, what's that all about? But you normally say something stupid or go. I'll tell you if it's stupid. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Cherrywood Podcast. At home today. Uh, the re- why are we at home today? Coke. Oh. Pain. Yeah. Why are we at home today? We were going to do a podcast, <laughs> but um, um, the guest unfortunately had to cancel last minute. And what we usually do after that podcast is we usually do us two, don't we? <laughs> As in film us two, do a Monday podcast. But um, we were like, ah, oh, nah, we won't do that. And then someone phoned about a last minute photo shoot that we did. Yeah. Why are you laughing? Like, it's like not, you're not. acting like you don't know what's happened today. No, no. The way you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Just telling people what we've been up to today. Sorry, take take three. No, no, it's just how he's on rolling. You know the you know the rules. I don't want to edit anything. <laughs> Sorry, right? Yes, we ha- we were well busy with a company doing photos, um, and yeah, it just took over the day a little bit, didn't it? So, but now we're here. We've got half an hour roughly. Knock this out, Rach. Or knock this out in half hour. Can we do that? That's quite me. You ever not one out in half hour? Right, moving on. Okay, so let's talk about um, Friday's podcast was Paul Hills, oh. the two hour long. That, we had a drink with that one. It was, um, we had like beers and everything. Oh, if, if you haven't seen it, so watch the podcast. I am eating constantly <laughs> for two hours. And then I pour that drink over me. I open that bottle and the drink. <laughs> And the drink goes all oh. over me. But uh, Paul's an entertaining bloke, so he's one of those people that can read the yellow pages and still be funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's good as go. And uh, so it was about Grey IT, wasn't it? His, um, his, the company he works for, mm-hmm. which is an IT specialist, helps you with anything from, what's the woman's name? Mm-hmm. Not Gladys. Beryl from Beryl to... <laughs> yeah. There are other companies that was good. Oh, do you think I asked him, didn't I? Did, do you actually know a Beryl? And he went, I nah, don't think so. He doesn't know a Beryl. And then he did a, his tour in Australia. Mm. And this Friday coming up is, do you want to say his name? Damien. Damien what? Damien Kroganowski. Oh, what is it, Rach? Damien Kroganowski. Damien. Damien. Damien Kroganowski. And he his Flash Professional Services. Flash professional services, couldn't say that. That was a bit of a struggle. <laughs> and, oh, he is also the voice of um, the character from Bugs Life. Apparently, <laughs> we think he's the voice from the character of Bugs Life. So if you want to know what we're on about, then have a good listen to it. Because he is, oh, I'm so hungry. It's his laugh more than anything. Not his, It's more of his laugh than the voice, isn't it? A little, a little, a little bit. He's quite an entertaining character. I love it. After that podcast, though, he said to you, first time I met you, I didn't like you, didn't I? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's so, he's so straight. He said, when I met you, Simon, I thought you was an arsehole. Like, you know? It was like, oh, I didn't like you at all. Because I looked, because I'd last, when I first met him, was in lockdown over a Zoom meeting. Yeah. So I was clearly just trying to be serious and not, not as stupid as I am. He said you looked really... And I, and I looked straight faced, yeah. he said. But it's the way he describes it. <laughs> I didn't like you. Straight out, bang, yeah, like that. Yeah, okay. I thought you were an arsehole. <laughs> I love this guy. And you're like, yeah, he's an arsehole. <laughs> anyway, so that's um, Damien. He's coming up on Friday, which is quite a good one as well. We've got some questions, Rachel. I will just... Let me turn this off as well. Let's put it on silent for a change. There we go. Change. Let's have a look, see what we got. I have some questions. 
Um, can I just say before these questions, thank you to um, Rachel and Kelly, who did stand in for me a few weeks ago. Um, they were both amazing. They were really good little interviewers, weren't they? Yeah, Rachel Carriage, backup Rach, <laughs> standing wife. And Kelly. Kelly Burrows, <laughs> clown lover, okay. anything what, weird lover. What did you keep calling her? Because you, you kept looking at her. Well, I kept weren't. calling Rach Kelly. <laughs> and then you kept calling Kelly something else as well, didn't you? I, call, I, I gave her a really weird name. Hmm. I called her something completely different. Yeah. I don't know. Where, I just don't know where this all comes from. But um, we love them both very much. They're good oh, friends. Thank you so they, much for your help. And we know they're jumping for us anytime. And they're both very good. Uh, Rachel was very, very professional. And Kelly was mental. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <no>. Perfect. <laughs> so it was a bit of each, bit of, each of us there. <laughs> and we'll definitely have them again soon. On the podcast? <laughs> Well, what are you, what are you oh, planning on doing with them? Please structure Bang that. Bang out of order. Unless you've got a little secret admirer, <laughs> please structure that sentence correctly. Girls, we will have you <laughs> on again the soon. We're going to get Kelly in about clowns. We're definitely going to have a clown show in, like serious clowns. She told me something weird about cl- if every clown has a different face, right? Every clown has a different face. And if you're a proper clown, you paint that face on an egg and it goes into a clown museum. <laughs> we've got to get a clown on. Yeah, I know we've got to get a clown on. Anyway, first question. Um, uh, I know the answer already, but <laughs> whose amazing idea was it to start the podcast? <laughs> and has it done anything you expected? <laughs> well, it's kept from? us together. <laughs> Just. Um, it doesn't matter who it's from. Who's it from? <laughs> Because he knows the answer already. Darren Holton. <laughs> <laughs> Darren Holton. So, so I'll leave that question <clears throat> to you then. You, you more than welcome to Rachel, you, your idea. Everyone knows this. This has been mentioned on podcast anyway. It was your idea to do the podcast. So I, I came up with the idea and I said to you, I think it would be a really good idea to do a podcast. So what's your reply? And my reply was, yeah, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think you're lying. You might be what lying. Was your, what was your reply? No, nah, we ain't going to do that. Because I know who's the one that's got to do all the work. And who is the one that does all the work? Who is the one that does all the podcast work? Do you like it? No, answer the question. Who is the one that does all the podcast work? Look, as so many people keep telling me, I'm not here for my brain. I'm here for my looks. <laughs> anyway, yes, you came up with it. And has it done anything you expected? Has it done anything you expected? Well, done, done everything any- we expected. Has it done anything we expected? Is it, is it what we expected? And the other question was, any changes, plans, additional ventures? But it, has it done... I, I'm really enjoying doing it. Yeah. I think it's funny. Yeah. It thinks a lot. Hopefully, well, the people that are oh. listening or watching, listening or watching, I think are enjoying it. I find it really interesting, though, because like yeah. you sit down with people and you think, you know, oh, you, you do this, you do that. And then I get really into the conversation. I start asking random questions. Mm. Like a few of them, I'm like, oh, so how does this actually work? And actually get in yeah. into what they do in their mind and their business frame of mind. Try not to talk your hands too much because the lever is uh, the false lever oh, is squeaky. <laughs> and you've already annoyed me with noise. <laughs> so it's not just in the studio. Oh, no, no. <laughs> anyway, um, what was I going to say? Has it? You were going back I to I was listening yeah. to, yeah. But I found how annoying I am. Like someone will start saying something seriously and I go, oh, can I stop you completely in your tracks and let's talk about this sign which really has no importance whatsoever. <laughs> but it's the thing now. So I have, if I forget about the sign, you, I, you, you, I've even made a list. Which we've, I, we've even got post-it notes yeah, on the I've door made a to list, remind us. got post-it notes because we always forget to do the selfie for the, for the uh, thumbnail. Um, the it was, self, was it selfie, form. Um, there's about three or four things that we've yeah. got. Yeah. Anyway, it is... It's more than what we expected, considering yeah. it's been going for a month, Sixth month and a half. Yeah. Um, our subscribers have shot up on uh, YouTube. Um, We've had hundreds and yeah. hundreds of views. It's really good. More people are watching it than listening to it. That's fine. Don't bother yeah. me. I'd rather more people watch it because a lot of, our, a lot of the stuff's visual. Obviously, hmm. the sign falling off the wall, you can hear it falling off the wall. 
But um, if we're advertising up as well, <clears throat> what we do is visual, yeah. isn't it? So, so it was it was all about you knowing us two as a, as characters, and would you feel comfortable with us working with them hmm. on your wedding day mainly, more than anything? And then it's also about who's behind the brand, isn't it? Because yeah. you've got these big companies out there, you know, you don't know who's going to turn up to your wedding, but if there's a tiny little bit of, actually, they're down to earth, they're this, they're that, then, like I said, you get to know those people behind, sorry, you get to know those people behind the brand. Yeah. Yeah. It's, no, it's good. I like it. I do like it. <clears throat> what else have we got? Any changes or plans for additional ventures? Now, changes to the podcast. I always want to add segments. I'm trying to think of segments to add without it taking away too much. Like what? I don't know. Beer Sorry, pong? I've just scratched and I've not got my guitar. <laughs> Sorry. Kelly or the other age wouldn't do that. They were as good as no. They were just as bad, actually. <laughs> I think didn't you tell Kelly you went to stick this in your mouth? And she went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> she was so scared. The thing is, I worry about the sound because it gives me more work. So the more you behave with the sound, the less work I have to do trying to make the sound good. Uh, the other thing is, we've got yeah. this week where we're not in the studio. We have got these little mics. They're pretty good, but they the quality may not be as uh, as accurate as or as good as the other stuff. Just a little disclaimer for why this podcast is going to be crap today. <laughs> and Tom can't be asking what is it. <laughs> well, I, I'm I'm one thing I am doing. I'm getting better with audio editing, okay. which I don't have to do as much. And when I wish but I knew, I, as much? I don't have to do it as much when it comes to weddings or promotional videos because it's usually just like a voiceover over the top, which you oh, clean right, up. Okay. But um, it's very rare since the podcast that I'd have to do three stroke four mics cl- in close to each other where they're bleeding over and stuff. So I've learned a lot about, um, I can't even remember mic the word. distortion? No, no, <laughs> not at all about <laughs> mic distortion, about <laughs> cutting. Um, so. My the volume of me talking on this mic is louder than your voice on my mic. But it will pick up your voice on my mic. <laughs> will you just listen to the whole sentence? Oh, can we can we cut this now, guys? Can we just not bother this week? Just doing me editing. Right. So imagine my voice is at minus six decibels, and yours on your mic is at minus di- six minus six <laughs> minus six decibels. Right. But my voice on your mic is at minus 25 decibels. I can make anything from minus 25 decibel, decibels. <laughs> this, why am I even explaining this? Anyway, I've got a lot better with audio, all right? <laughs> I've got a lot better with audio to the point where I can't even remember what that setting is that cuts it off. Like, but audio people know what I'm talking about. If you want to comment and say you're talking about this, Simon, then that's great because comments always help. <laughs> and or, please. Or comment and say. Hey, and hit that subscribe button down there for me, would or you? comment and say you're talking shit. Like. Yeah. You can t- <laughs> if you want to say I'm talking shit, then fine. But hit that subscribe button. That's what we have to do that a bit more, H. Hit, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, well done. All right. And are we still um, pr- are we promoting <laughs> Are we pro- promoting the, the Michu Peachy, whatever it's called? <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? Much of I call it the Inca Trail myself. Yeah, it is. It is We're promoting Inca your Inca Trail thing. Yeah. Are you still doing it? Are you healthy enough to do it? Are we 100% sure? I'm sure. I am. Okay. I am still doing it. Okay. And if not, you'll have to stand in for me. So if you train with me, oh. just in case, get fit, we, train with me. Am I able to stand in last minute like that? Well, yeah, I suppose so. Hmm. I might start putting roller skates at the bottom of the stairs. Please don't. Okay, um, we, we have another question. Any changes, plans or ventures? Yeah, beer pong. Yeah, you were, yeah. let's go back. You said I've got, I've got segments you want to add in. I just want to, I, I think the podcast may need a little bit more structure with the guests. Maybe stru- a little bit more structured questions. I think you go, I like the way it runs. A lot of people said your podcasts are really long. They are. We don't want to stop the podcasts in their tracks after a half an hour. Our ones are a lot shorter, between half hour and 45 minutes. But um, the guests, I want them to just, the, the longer you're with a guest, the, the more they open up and become their self. So I don't want to be uh, shutting them off, getting them to open up and then stopping them dead. Look, if it's too long, 
stop it and then play the rest another day if you want to. If you're bored, stop it and just watch it or listen to another one. Doesn't matter. You're getting very angry. Just, just, <laughs> just, you know, just, just the good thing about a podcast it. is you can push pause. <laughs> you can just push pause. And if you've had enough, go forward a bit if you think it's a little bit boring. No yeah. one's really said it's boring, but they've just said, cool, they're quite long, side. They're quite long. But yeah. how can you squeeze someone <clears> up? Because the questions we ask are basically, how did you get to where you were? What did you do before you were in this industry? What do you like about it? That sort of thing, right? Which leads me on to another question from a guest. Um, the question is, I'm not, I'm talking oh. to, no, the question is, how do you get to people to relax? Well, that's it really, isn't it? I'm so assuming it's... they mean people on the podcast. Because <laughs> it's Rohit now, usually. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, wow, no wonder I feel so spicy all the time. <laughs> Sorry. I just, I was uh, just wanted to say that was a joke. I, I, I'll use, I, would, right, I'll right. use, I'll just that, use my that, looks that, and my charm. That bit's going to be like the snippet of this oh, podcast. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to yeah. get all haters out there going, oh my God, he drops his voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's um, great. No, before what I was that what I was saying was um, you know, we ask them all these questions. So if they tell us, you know, and go into detail about how they got there in their life, we like you said, we're not going to sit there and go, sorry, you, no, shut up. We're going to go on to the next. But we can't do that, can no, we? Exactly. So, it's, so it, I think that relaxes them as well. Our goal, our goal is to bring out the true character of people, and that takes time. And if it takes ten minutes. If it takes a half hour, if it takes 45 minutes to get the real person out of the podcast, that's what we would do. Why are you laughing, Rachel? <laughs> so that's how we get people to relax. We get people to relax by being ourselves, mm. have a drink, stop hitting my leg while I'm talking because that's going to annoy me on the sound as well. Um, <laughs> stop using my hands and squeeze them. <laughs> I think that's one thing we're very good at, you and I. We can get people relaxed quite quick before... We- before we we murder and bury them (laughs) oh that's another highlight (laughs) god feel free to check our patio um patio exactly we've hidden them we've hidden them somewhere else (laughs) right so we've done drugs murder (laughs) (laughs) it's going well isn't it going very well Um, nothing about terrible productions or what we do (laughs) as a company (laughs) And yes, we do have the odd swear word in there, don't we? Yeah. Some people don't like the swear words. Um, Some people aren't bothered by the swear words. We will adapt based on the guest. Yeah. Once again, that's a part of getting someone relaxed. If you're too rigid with them, rigid is the right word, yeah. Sounded sexual to me at first. But if you're too rigid with them, then they're not going to relax. We will adapt to their character. And if they like to swear and feel more comfortable knocking out the odd F, <laughs> then, we have, then we will let them. Obviously, we've got some guests coming up in the future. Some politicians, members of parliament are coming onto the show. We're mm-hmm. not going to swear unless they're comfortable with it. <laughs> They might be effing and blind, effing and jeffy. Yeah. You just don't know. Anyway, I doubt they will, but that's why um, we swear sometimes and sometimes we hmm. don't. Anyway, next one. But it isn't for kids. This podcast isn't for kids, by the way. No, it's not for kids. <laughs> not for kids. It's just, um, it's just human beings having a chat telling you about their life. Yeah. Human beings that are not too famous and all that business. Uh, anyway, I did get another one. Um, what... What's the most surprising subject that comes up on your podcast so far? OnlyFans. I oh. think <laughs> OnlyFans. You bring OnlyFans up. Far Excuse too much. me. I brought it up once in the whole time. It's always you, and it's always for the girls. Hmm. Well, you've got a test to see if they've got one or not, haven't you? <laughs> no, sorry. Going back to the original <clears throat> question. What was the original question? I've forgotten it. What's the most surprising subject that comes up on the podcast? Do you know what? There's a there's a guy that's already been on. And he's, he's, he will come on in a couple of weeks' time, um, and it's Darren Holton about his job about yeah. um, having to clear up after suicides and oh, um, road traffic accidents and things like that. That was... Um, That's eye-opening, I think. That's the only way to yeah. describe it. Mind yeah. blowing. And how he mentally <laughs> copes with it. Um, it, it just... Uh, some of the situations, you sit there and think, I, I don't know if... 
I should laugh or cry or yeah. I don't know if yeah. you're serious. I, it was just so... And people will comment. People will comment on that 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 um, podcast. Mm. People that, you know, just have never been in that environment. Let's but say. we did, uh, to be fair, before we did speak about it, we did give them a warning. We do give them a warning, don't yeah, we? And say, yeah. there's some detail here. There's you some might detail on there. But but there's no graphic. specifics about who yeah. these people that have passed are. But there's some detail on there about them having to do some clear-ups and some stories that they've come across. I was just... And, yeah. So that's wonderful. one. That's a, that's a really good one for a couple of weeks' time. Darren Holton, um, Hayden Griffiths. They've all been good. They've, I've, I've enjoyed them all. They've all been different. They've all been good. Uh, there's going to be a lot more wedding-related um, podcasts mm-hmm. coming up. Uh, so we're getting a lot more wedding supplies in, which is what we do mainly. You know, we do promotional videos as well a lot. And today's work wasn't wedding-related. Um, actually, it's about 50-50 there, isn't it? I would say, if, mm. if that. But, um, yeah, this was a, originally a podcast for couples, uh, brides and grooms who are looking to get married and want, want to meet other suppliers. So we're getting a lot more turn up. It's just the way it's been booked. It's been booked with the fact that there was, well, we had a couple of celebrants, and we? Mm-hmm. So it was a first, oh, it was a first come, first serve basis with the bookings of the podcast. And, Mm. Who, who, we've got for weddings we've got dress magician um, yeah we've got venues yeah we've got uh wedding dress people, hair braiding hair makeup makeup next soon week got makeup, next week yeah. yeah so they'll all be coming all these different wedding suppliers will be turning up and um there's some good people there this pj's coming on mm. yeah so yep yeah, that's that's a thing so what am i trying to say what was the question again have i missed the most surprising subject. Well, I've told you about that. Uh, how do you get people to relax? I've covered that one. There, I think there's one more question. Um, where is it? The other question is, um, what about a shoot to fame? Any famous people you've worked with? Well, we've worked with Ricky Rose of EastEnders, and we're going to get and, him on the and podcast. It, as in, like, in general? On a... Well, the thing is, I've... I've not worked with people, but I've been Charlton mascot when I'm in the Premier League. I've met all the stars, Ronaldo and Beckham's and all that, but they're on about working with. So oh, working mainly with. Ricky Groves. When we won the wedding awards, we had um, Kelly um, God- Godliman yeah, from Kerry. Um, Kel- Kerry Godliman, yeah, from um, well, Afterlife. anything Ricky, Ricky Gervais does, yeah. Afterlife and Derek. So we met her, had a nice chat with her. Barry from EastEnders. Barry, <laughs> Barry from EastEnders, yeah, met Barry. Uh, a few other comedians. I've worked with um, The Cinnamon before. Um, from The Chase. Yeah, The Chase. What's the comedian I, um, we're working with? I've worked with him once before. I've got to work with him again on a, awards coming up soon. Yeah, we've got awards um, yeah. in a few weeks. I'm of my... Yeah. Oh, God, boy. We've got, so we've got, I don't want to go into too much details about it, but we've got an award ceremony coming up next week and... A really good comedian, and his, his name has really slipped my mind, and I'm not going to get that back, definitely. Not in half hour. And so, Chris, yeah, we, we work with people, a, a lot of famous people on the wall ceremonies as well. Um, uh, what else have we got to tell anyone about? Bear with me. Ted, can you do that in another room, babe? Please. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my son's decided to play the ball. <laughs> my son decided to play the ball on the stairs, and it was putting me off big time. <laughs> um, right, okay. Anything else? There was. I'm sure I see another one here. Uh, any recommend? Oh, any recommendations for kids or teens trying to get into the industry? Oh my goodness, that's a hard one. But he but, is. But, Excuse sorry, me. For, for us. Like the wedding industry? I, I think or? it was after the famous people one. So I'm wondering if you mean, you know, kids or teens trying to get into, um, you know, stage school or into the, the film industry. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Um, well, there I, are a few companies I'm, out there, aren't there, that I've, link? I've not got a recommendation. I've got a bit of advice. Only do it if you know they love doing it. Don't do it to be famous. Because that is like winning the lottery. So don't waste your time on trying to be famous. If you're good enough, fame will come anyway. Just do it because you love it. That was uh, very heartfelt, actually, for you. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> I've been there. I haven't been there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's what I say. Do it because you love it. Don't push them. Don't make it. Do it because you want your kids to be famous. 
because um, they'll do a Macaulay Colton on you. I'm sure they will. Divorce you. Did you actually do that in England? I don't know. Just don't talk to them. Similarly. <laughs> Not that I'm looking at divorcing my parents, but I mean, I love my parents. If you need help with it, I'm happy to help. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Any recommendations? For, I've just read that. So, How do you see the industry going in the future with uh, the direction of tech? Uh, so what you're basically oh. talking about is phones, camera phones, and all that. They're very AI. good. And AI. AI, yeah. there's so much going on. I mean, even from the time we started the company, the equipment, the technology, everything has just yeah, almost changed overnight or but to some extent. It's still not quite there. And... Right, this is a thing. How long has the... Um, this is a one way to gauge it, right? You can still tell when you get a dodgy phone call. I personally can still tell when I get a dodgy phone call and I know it's a computer calling me. Oh, wait, computer yeah, calling yeah, sorry. Me. I was you can still you tell. Know. That's been going now, I would say, for about 15, 20 years. And still, they haven't mastered it. Still, I can tell, even the really good ones, I can tell. I can tell there's that little pause. You know, but I, I mean, I've listened to podcasts that delve into AI as well and stuff like that, and it, it's 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 not real AI as yet, is it? No, nah. it's it's on the verge, but AI is when it's artificial intelligence. Now that it's thinking is, for itself. That is when it thinks for itself, and then we're all screwed because then it's Terminator. Yeah. No, it's if, it, you're right. if it was AI, it would be making the programs itself. It has all to have the time, feelings. Right? All the time, all the time, we're making a pro. No, I suppose the idea. All the time we're making the program itself or the app itself, it's not AI. Mm. It's just a database of information. Yeah. AI is it. And it learns from that information. AI is it thinking for itself. But we're not even going on. I don't even think. You've jumped to AI. Sorry. I think the way I've read this is the fact that phone cameras, you know, we're photographers and phone cameras are getting really good. And they are getting really good. Mm. Um, but you still have to have the right eye holding the camera and taking the photo. You have to have that little bit of um, creativity. Yeah. You have to have that little bit of um, en- engineering almost because you have to organise, let's say, 100 people. Yeah. I've done a wedding with 120 people before. Now I've got to get in one group shot. So you have to be able to... Sorry, I'm touching my skin. You have to be able to have that organisation skill as well as creativity and being able to use the camera. And we've said before as well, it's not just about <clears throat> click and shoot, click and shoot. It's the idea. Happens, it's the idea. And what happens if it goes wrong? You need to be really quick thinking. For example, rain. Rain, I know obviously no one can help the rain, but rain really gets on my nerves because it could be really, really sunny. You plan all the shots because you know the venue, you can do this, this and this. You get really creative because I know, you know, some brides are like, yep, I want to go outside, I want to do this, I want to do this. The day comes and it's raining. I'll tell you another thing, which we've discussed, which is what this whole podcast is about. Technology improving isn't going to make you um, work well with your subjects. Mm. Only you will make you work well with your subjects. Another thing, phones. Phones are amazing, yes, but there's a reason why lens, lenses are exactly the same price as, as cameras because you can have, you're probably better off having a high quality lens with a lower quality camera than you are a high quality camera with a low quality lens. Mm. And phones aren't going to start having massive lenses out the back of them. And don't get me wrong, the... the um, the um, sensors in a phone improve all the time, and but they never be they never have a lens that will, will take over you know a high quality lens. The other thing is like I say, the idea, the idea of the shot, the idea of the angle. The phone's not going to say here, bend down a bit and go by that grass. That'd be a <laughs> lovely angle. Technology's not going to do that. Your brain's going to do that. No, are you doing what you're saying? Bend over on the ground. No, God. I mean the photographer. Get the photographer down low and take. No, I'm not. Bend over on the ground. What are you doing? No. What I'm trying to say is the phone's not going to say to you, I know a good shot. Why don't you go in between those two tree trunks and take it through there or by that rock and get the rock in the corner? The phone's not going to tell you that. It takes the person in control of the, the device, the camera or the phone, take that shot. 
So no matter how well technology improves, it still requires a human brain to get the right angle, get the right shot, get the right picture. And again, when our AI can actually do that, we'll be dead. <laughs> oh, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. But what, what we can do when that, when that takes over, we're just doing a podcast. Yeah. And we'll just slag <laughs> off all these AI cameras and things like that. We'll be famous for the podcast by then, Rach. Hmm. The podcast, actually, I'm, I'm quite... Um, positive? No, I'm not positive. No, I'm quite positive, but it, it's, um, I'm quite pleased with how well it's going and how popular it's going. And um, I look at, obviously, the stats far too much, which you shouldn't do. And I've been advised that you're looking at two years for a podcast to be established, and I'm quite pleased with the way this one's going. Good. Um, well done to you, Boosh. And I think that's enough. Don't you think that's enough? Yeah, I think so. I think it's enough. I'm glad yeah. you're feeling better. You're the love of my life, and I was in pain when you were in pain. Oh, why? Because you had to do everything back at home. <laughs> Are you nearly crying? No, Damn, I just crying. snorted that. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. But thank you anyway. so much for looking after me, and um, yeah, we'll Let's see go. you soon. Anyway, don't do as she does. Do as she don't does. <laughs> This podcast has been brought to you by Snug Dubs, Camper Van Hire. Roam the world, park anywhere. At snugdubs.co.uk. This podcast was brought to you today by Austin's Eatery on Station Road Strood. Try the Viking Challenge.